Alrighty, so welcome back. I am currently outside of Allianz View. As you can see, there is the beautiful stadium in the background there. And I just got out of the stadium a couple of minutes ago. By the way, it was actually kind of chaotic trying to get out of the stadium. First, I had a really tough time trying to find the bag check. And then uh, it turns out the bag check was like literally right behind all the buses and stuff, which, you know, I feel like if Allianz View was going to kind of redo the bag check, they should at least just put it right in front of the gate and not like behind the buses because I mean nobody would be able to, to see that. But either way, in terms of this game itself, well, Liga MX All Star or actually not Liga MX All Star, MLS All Star, of course, winning for the second year in a row, and this time at least it doesn't have to go to a PK shootout. Uh, MLS All Star was able to win two one in this game, and of course because this game is in Minnesota. You know how many times I talk about Minnesota United games are kind of like heart attack kind of games and how for the last couple of minutes you always have to clench your butt so hard so that you hope that they can get all three points. This was pretty much the same thing. I mean, you know, MLS All-Star got the 2 nothing lead and it was 2-1 and it just realized, yep, here we go again. This is like watching the Loons game all over again, seeing them trying to hold on for the past couple of minutes, but, you know, thankfully... For the MLS All-Star, they kind of shut things down pretty well. They didn't really make it that interesting in the last couple of minutes of the game. But overall, in terms of the experience itself, I mean, it was a good experience. I mean, I did went to the soccer celebration. I mean, they had some interesting there. They obviously had the MLS Today crew, or, you know, they call it MLS Today, but they might as well just call it Extra Time Radio. They interviewed a couple of legendary player and then you know they also had a Tanisha concert there and also had some soccer trivia that was going on there but besides that there was also the the usual ki kind of sponsors from MLS that is there I mean I feel like for the soccer celebration I mean I'm not gonna lie I feel like it could have been more I mean it wasn't as big as I thought it is and all MLS basically did is just kind of have all their sponsors kind of had some fun event but I guess that's what maybe the soccer celebration is all about just kind of had all the sponsors there having some interesting game so one and, and stuff and you know obviously getting into to the game itself and by the way getting into the stadium but I'll tell you what you know I, I don't know if I remember when I read the Minnesota United Reddit Fred talk about the problem in terms of the tight concourse at Allianz Field, but yeah, I definitely experienced that. I mean, it was very tight. Like getting into the stadium, getting to my seat, especially getting through the brew hole, that was really hard to, to get by and everybody just kind of standing still and stuff like that. But eventually I did get to my seat about 30 minutes before the kickoff of the game and you know in terms of the game itself i mean mls all-star got off to a fast start literally two minutes into the game carlos vela basically score in the back post completely left on mark there and that you know i think that might be one of the earliest goal if not the earliest goal i've ever seen in the mls all-star because i don't think there's ever been an mls all-star goal score in the first minute and certainly probably there isn't one in the second minute either but yeah you know, Carl Smith after just two minutes getting the one nothing lead. And then things kind of is what you would kind of expect it, where things kind of got a little bit tight. But I thought Liga MX all sort of started to kind of dominate. And in some way, this game kind of reminds me a little bit of Mexico versus U.S. Where, you know, it seems like Mexico tends to like to dominate possession against the U.S. And the same goes here with Liga MX. He's going to dominate possession. But for the most part, they weren't very clinical in terms of their final third ball well actually i say that but they also created some dangerous chances in this game especially in the second half and that also at times you know knowing adrian heave was coaching this this team i thought our mls all-star is going to go row heave mode and is row heave mode actually a thing in an all-star game because again i know this is just an exhibition game but at the end of the day it still is a game that has a lot of stake in terms of trying to prove MLS be, being the better league over Liga MX, but you know, it seems like he was trying to do Rohit mode throughout this, this first half and kind of did the same thing in the second half too. And then, uh, actually the MLS also almost made it two nothing when Brandon Vasquez scored the goal, but the goal of course was disallowed for offside. I actually didn't know who, who scored the first, but it turns out that the goal of course was disallowed for offside. And as soon as the flag actually went up and the goal was disallowed, there was actually a fan that was invaded on the pitch. And I just had a feeling that there was going to be a pitch invader. In fact, there was like two different situation there was like pitch invader there was one during the game and then one after the game actually i think there was three because there was two uh pitch invader that was happening after the the game it, itself but yeah you know 
held that stated at one nothing, and again Liga MX were threatening to try to score the equalizer, but then the penalty was given, and again because this happened on the other end, I have no clue exactly whether or not if that was indeed a penalty. And what's also interesting is that they mentioned VAR was used in this game, and I don't think last year in the MLS All Star game they actually used VAR, but nevertheless, you know they they um, they called a penalty. And I thought. It's gonna go to VAR because maybe it's a little bit controversial, but you know it was given, and then it took a long time for that PK to to be taken. I mean, I guess uh, Liga MX All Star was trying to shit house a little bit, trying to make Raul Rui Diaz think about that that one, and even maybe trash talk him uh, a little bit before he takes the penalty, but he buries that penalty to make it two nothing, and then again, you know, for the last 15 minutes or so, Liga MX continued to push for a goal back, and that you know they did get a goal back to make it two one, and again that's when. I thought, okay, well, this looks like it's a Minnesota United game again where it's time to hold your butt and hope that they can hold on to get the win. And in, in the end, they, of course, are able to do so. And that, again, overall, what a fun experience it, it was. I mean, the atmosphere, I will say that, you know, it wasn't the best. I was also kind of disappointed that they didn't sing Wonderwall at the end of the game. I mean, I know it's not a Minnesota United game, but come on. I wish they, they sing Wonderwall right at the end of the game. And also, the Wonderwall was pretty quiet throughout the game. It was more Mexico kind of uh, chant or more Cise Prede kind of, kind of chant throughout the game than it is in terms of MLS chant. But I guess maybe that, you know, being this is an all-star game, it may be something that it's still just an exhibition. It, it doesn't really create, needs to create that, that kind of atmosphere as we've seen sometimes with Minnesota United game. But overall, what a fun experience it is. I am definitely going back to here. I mean, looking at that stadium, Itself. I mean, what a beautiful stadium it, it is, and that, again, I'm, you know, I can get back maybe this season. I mean, I'm planning maybe come back here in October for Decision Day in that game against the Vancouver Whitecaps. Uh, that game is going to be a day game, so you will get this beautiful view of the stadium all lit up in the background. But overall, you know, what a fun experience it is. It's definitely an experience that I won't forget for a very long time. And I'm also looking to run it back, too, because I'm thinking, oh, maybe going to an All-Star game again. I mean, next year, I think it's going to be in D.C., which, yeah, that's going to be tough because it's all the way across the other side of the country. But if it's going to be somewhere close by, I might go to another All-Star game because it definitely was fun in terms of the festivity and the, the game itself. And it's also going to be interesting to see whether it's going to be MOS All-Star versus Liga MX All-Star all over again, too. Uh, next year but either way hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure you guys leave a like smash the subscribe button and yeah i of course will see you guys next time